and welcome uh, Brett and uh, the club champion and uh, Rebecca is uh, his mum uh, on the golf course here at uh, Sandhurst today. Now Brett, um, I gather you've had a, a, a pretty good career here, you're only 15, well, so you were 15 when you became club champion. Yeah that's correct um, Ron, uh, in early March I think it was I became club champion here and it was really a great achievement for me. Well, cer certainly, certainly was because there's about eight or nine hundred people in the club, and you're the best golfer out yeah, of the whole lot of them. Yeah, just thinking about it, really realizing what I've actually achieved is really astonishing. I'm really pleased. And so I gather you're uh, getting ready to go on and uh, sort of got your eyes set on some pretty fancy tournaments overseas soon. Oh yeah, that's always the plan. I've got a few interstate actually coming up, so it's really good. Just keep preparation with the great facilities at Sandhurst. This must be very interesting. You go to school, and uh, then the next thing you know, you're out in the golf course, and you're on in an interstate champion. Yeah, Ship it's done. kind of hard. I kind of pinch myself most of the time, thinking, well, school, but you know, just keep plucking away, and you'll be getting there. Now, Rebecca, why is he so good? You're the mum. Come on, uh, give I us the to... inside story no, I'd have on to this say champion. Support. support from school, support from home, support from grandparents, support from the club. Everybody uh, really, you know, truly wants him to do well. Um, yeah, so I'd say support. Support. And yeah. uh, do you caddy for him? No, in fact, it's my mum, 70-year-old mum, his grandmother, uh, takes him round and she just loves it. So the two of them uh, have a great relationship. So I think that's golf. Golf uh, bridges a generation gap and, um, you know, anyone can play at any age. Well, that's fantastic. We've got a, we got a champion at uh, 16, the club champion, and we've got his grand mum at 70 or so who's the caddy. Yeah. That's a pretty good combination. You probably scare the living wits out of the other yeah. players. <laughs> yeah, she is. Yeah, she does the job. She's really, she actually is really good because she keeps me very calm. And do you like the, uh, the golf course here, obviously, where you play a fair bit? Um, yeah, of course we're having... Um, troubles but you know it's really good practice facilities here we've got a great range of uh, two punting two courses which is a real advantage really having and yeah the, all the pro shop staff everyone in here they're really friendly and it's really good to see well i know that the pro uh, pro shop staff have uh, keeping a very close eye on you they, they're seeing you as a another australian champion and maybe uh Peter Thompson designed the course, uh, and uh, Peter uh, was playing golf when he was about your age, so uh, it might be uh, a bit of an omen uh, there. And Rebecca, um, what do you think of uh, Sandhurst? Do you live here now? Yes, we live here. We've been here right from the very start, actually. Um, and for me, it's great because I do use the facilities of the pool and the gym, and we come down for family night on Friday for meals. Um, my mum does live here, his grandmother does oh, yeah. live here, so uh, the walking tracks, it's good for the dog, you know, lots of um, open space and lots of young families. I didn't think there'd be so many young families here. So, um... It's almost like you've got a built-in cheer squad here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sometimes it feels like that. Yeah. And what's the next major, what's the next major challenge? What's the next major challenge? Oh, game? it's really, oh, there's, okay. to get into the state team would be really, really really top it off. That's at the start of next year they pick it. So you've got to just keep plucking away at tournaments this year and you'll make your way in there. Well thanks very much Rebecca and, and Brett Coletta for a nice uh, little interview in uh, the Sandhurst <laughs> news break and uh, this will be going out on the web and uh, there'll be people all over the world seeing this. <laughs> oh, right. Once thanks, again, Ross. see you. Bye. Bye.